So my name is Dinesh Kumar, go by Dinesh. Uh, I'm in uh, UC Davis uh, Department of Plant Biology. Uh, I'm also affiliated to the Genome Center. My lab major goal is to understand how pathogens uh, um, infect plants and also how plants are actually able to recognize the pathogen and activate uh, immune response. And in, in that process, uh, we, we study quite a variety of uh, projects where the growth chambers and CF facility has been instrumental. There are three specific plants we work with. One is Arabidopsis as a model system which uh, many plant scientists work on. We also use uh, tomato and also the Nicotiana which is tobacco. So these are some of the plants we use and the pathogens we use are uh, the viral pathogens like tobacco mosaic virus as a model system we use quite a bit and then we use the Pseudomonas uh, bacteria and then we also use uh, Botrytis uh, fungus uh, in our studies. So we're mainly interested in how these multiple plant systems respond to different pathogens. Idea is to see what are the common responses a plant invokes to different pathogens across different species. And then what are the specific responses in individual species of plants invoked to different pathogens. Okay, so one example is uh, the immune receptor we work on uh, in tobacco, when we put it into our autopsies, does not, does not work. So the idea there is to understand why when we put from tobacco to our autopsies, it doesn't work, uh, even though both are plants. So there are some fundamental difference between what's present in our autopsies versus what's present in tobacco. So that's why these different plant systems and different pathogens help us to understand uh, the common processes and also very specific processes. So our idea is to better understand the process from the plant point of view. So then maybe we can better engineer plants to cope with the diseases so that we don't have to use these uh, harmful um, uh, chemicals. From the basic point of view, it so happens that the the plant immune receptors seem to be similar to the human immune receptors. So when we first cloned a, a first plant immune receptor, when I was a postdoc at Berkeley, uh, we were surprised to find out that the receptors almost look similar to the mammalian immune receptors that are also involved in pathogen resistance. So in, in the global context, I think what we learn from plant uh, could be actually adaptable to the, the human pathogen systems actually and vice versa.